I'm Rebecca PB. I'm a producer at Lonely Planet TV. Margaret River is a seaside town 300 k's south of Perth. The region is renowned for its killer cab salves and chardonnays, something to do with sandy loam soils. Whatever it is, Margaret River is home to some excellent vineyards, Vas Felix, Voyager and Lewin Estate to name a few. The best way to explore the wine region with a long boozy lunch at the vineyards or Nominate a driver for the day and cruise the Caves Road, stopping whenever you feel thirsty. You can also ask the Margaret River Regional Wine Centre to knock you up an itinerary. Margaret River is at the heart of Western Australia's food and wine scene, and there are more restaurants than you can poke a fork at, so leave your diet at home. If you need to work off a big lunch, head to Burren Up Forest. It's great for hiking and riding its many mountain biking trails. <laughs> the swells around Cape Naturaliste offer some of the best surfing in Australia and attract pro surfers from all over the world. Beware, the breaks have killer nicknames like guillotine and gallows. If you're feeling brave, you can take surf classes at Yelling Up Surf School, but be prepared to be dumped once or twice. Margaret River is also within the traditional land of the Wadani, one of 14 Noongar tribes that live in the southwest. If you're lucky, you may even catch some of the locals celebrating the rising of the full moon on the local beach. The Wadan Aboriginal Cultural Centre near Yellingup is really worth a look. You can check out heaps of local arts and get a demonstration of traditional tool making. From Margaret River to Albany, it's a couple of hours' drive. Along the way, you'll see some great old pubs, sleepy towns like Denmark, and beautiful carry forests. These forest giants are some of the world's tallest trees. Stop off at the National Park near Walpole for a treetop walk in the Tingle Trees. The walkway peaks at 40 metres above ground level, so don't look down. The coastal town of Albany was the first port in Western Australia and a replica of the first settler boat, the Amity, is on the foreshore. This used to be a whaling town, but now the whales are protected and the locals rely on the whales to attract tourists to the region. This rock is shaped like a dog, so the locals called it, you guessed it, Dog Rock. They even gave it a collar, and they didn't stop there. On the outskirts of town you'll find some great natural rock formations. Check out the Gap and Natural Bridge. It's a long drive from Albany to Esperance, so put on your autopilot and turn the stereo up. The best things here are the national parks, the salt lakes which turn pink or purple depending on the weather. It's also home to one of Australia's first wind farms, so you'd better pack a jacket. Esperance is known for having some of the best beaches in Australia, like Twilight Cove. And if it feels like you're at the end of the earth, because you are.